Hello everybody. Welcome to part 1 of the Infoblox Outbound Notifications training series. This video will give you an introduction to the security ecosystem and outbound notifications. With more and more devices and users using the network, there is an increase in demand for security. There is a rich cyber security ecosystem composing of many different vendors. Infoblox provides a lot of value as part of this overall cyber security ecosystem. Looking at the center bottom for what Infoblox offers, it provides a DNS DHCP and IP address management or DDI appliance with built-in security. Infoblox integrates with a myriad of security technologies not limited to but as shown with each of the lines and circles emanating from the center. Through real-time data sharing with these technologies, Infoblox enables more effective threat detection and more efficient response. Since Infoblox provides critical services like IP address management and DHCP, we have access to valuable network context on endpoint devices. We provide lots of details on any endpoint connecting to bad domains or being used in a cyber attack to exfiltrate data. Through an integration of our DNS and DHCP services, we provide information such as MAC and IP address, device type, OS version and user information which helps organizations shorten time to remediation. Last but not the least, we share contextual threat data and endpoint data with cyber security ecosystem products like SIEM, Vulnerability Management, NAC and NextGen Endpoint Security Solutions so they can be better at what they do, whether to quarantine an endpoint or kill a malicious process on an endpoint. Infoblox is heavily invested in integration interfaces because we want to make sure that we are interoperable and can easily communicate with third-party technologies. Infoblox can share threat intelligence with other security technologies using REST API, Stixtaxi industry standard protocols, where Stix is a language for modeling and representing cyber threat intelligence, and Taxi is a protocol for exchanging cyber threat intelligence, and proprietary data exchange technologies like Cisco PX Grid and McAfee DXL. McAfee's data exchange layer, also called DXL, communication fabric connects and optimizes security actions across multiple vendor products. It is to be noted that with regards to Stixtaxi, NIOS is only a client that has been tested with Threat Connect and with respect to DXL, NIOS sends messages. RESTful API can be used to obtain core network service information from the Infoblox grid to assist with profiling the source or destination of network devices or use the RESTful API to change configurations in the Infoblox grid to help mitigate security threats. In addition to querying inbound data, changing system configurations and querying interface, you can use the third-party system RESTful API or DXL fabric to send outbound notifications to prioritize your security needs with Infoblox detecting new hosts or networks or managing network access control. This table gives a snippet of all the solutions available with our security ecosystem and additional licenses required for each of them. With FireEye and ThreatConnect, you can enforce policies using the DNS firewall based on the threat intelligence received. For this, you need the Active Trust and DNS firewall licenses. With Cisco ICE, you can enforce NAC policies based on indicator of compromise published by Infoblox. This integration requires the Network Insight or NetMRI license. With outbound notifications, you can perform a set management, respond to DNS security events, integrate with NAC and NextGen Firewall. 
depending on the kind of integration, you would need additional licenses. With Data Connector, you can perform same integrations. For example, you can integrate with Splunk. Outbound notifications allows you to integrate with your security ecosystem and trigger a workflow based on certain events. Outbound API notifications are available with NIOS versions 8.0 and above. To enable it, you must have the security ecosystem license installed in your grid. Depending on the notification rules and a role transferred information, you may additionally need to install the DNS Firewall, Active Trust, Threat Insight and Network Insight licenses. With NIOS 8.3, you can leverage ADP, Discovery Events and ATC. The Security Ecosystem License is a grid-wide license. It enables a new tab called Ecosystem under the Grid tab. Here, you can define endpoints, notifications and templates. If you already have a Network Insight or NetMRI license, an additional Cisco ICE integration tab is enabled. Similarly, with the RPZ license, you can configure FireEye and Threat Connect under the RPZ tab in NIOS. The outbound notifications templates can be used to convert NIOS specific events into notifications and send them to REST enabled endpoints. You can use NIOS specific data to construct API notifications and configure notification rules to trigger outbound notifications based on the parameters defined in the templates. To send outbound notifications to an endpoint, you must configure notification rules specifying the target endpoints, notification rule criteria, and the API templates you want to use. You must first create and upload API templates to the grid, configure the correct target endpoint, and then select the correct API template you want to apply to the notification rule. The target endpoints you configure must either be REST enabled so they can receive RESTful API calls or a DXL endpoint. A notification rule contains the target endpoint to which you want to send the outbound notifications and the event type upon which you want to take the action. The event type you select in a notification rule must match the event type defined in the API template you want to use for that rule. The RESTful API template converts NIOS events into REST API messages. You use supported variables in the templates to get respective events and define actions you want to take for those events. A template can have multiple event types. Partner integrations and templates are available on the Infoblox community site. The official integrations are available on the Partner Integrations page. The Community-Driven Templates are available in the API and Integrations page. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such training videos.